What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with the Gyarados team for Series 2. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button to join the Jeans community. But like I already mentioned, we're using Gyarados today, and Gyarados is one of my favorite Pokemon to use on the rank ladder. I always have fun using him ever since he was in Sword and Shield and even in BDSP, and now over in Scarlet and Violet, I still have a good time using him. So he's here for Series 2. Hopefully, you can grab some wins with it. But getting started here in the top left hand corner, we got the one and only Volcarona. Volcarona, really solid Pokemon. All around good on the special attacking side and good on the support side as well this one has flame body the leftovers as item and it's rock and protect giga drain quiver dance for those stat boosts and heat wave for another stab move second pokemon is going to be amoogas over here with the regenerator and the room service as item a lot of you guys who are new to the game probably do not know what room service is room service is an item so whenever trick room is popped amoogas will actually lower its stage or the holder of this item will lower its speed stage by one so automatically making it faster in the trick room so does that make sense so it lowers its speed whenever trick room is out and about making it faster in the trick room so it's just a way to gain speed control when trick room is out this amoogus has spore it has rage powder it has clear smog and it has palm puff loving this pokemon probably gonna be using them a good bit in today's video third pokemon is going to be iron hands a top tier paradox pokemon with fake out drain punch thunder punch and heavy slam quirk drive and assault vest nothing you guys haven't seen before King Gambit's going to be our fourth. King Gambit, always strong on any team with Defiant and the Black Glasses. Rock and Protect, Sucker Punch, Iron Head, and Kowtow Cleave. Arguably the best moveset for any King Gambit. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Fluttermane, just like Iron Hands, a top-tier Paradox Pokemon with Protosynthesis and the Focus Ash. This one has Protect, Taunt, and then it's two heavy-hitting stab moves, Moonblast and Shadow Ball. Gyarados is going to be our final Pokemon. Haven't used this Pokemon probably since Series 1, well, early in the Series 1, I should say. This one has Intimidate and the Clear Amulet, Rack and Waterfall, Terror Blast, which will turn into ground, considering this thing has Ground Terror, and then Dragon Dance and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, Rent the Code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that Series 2 ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Gyarados team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a really cool team, stacked with Pokemon that I really like. They got Roar Moon, Corviknight, Cerulege, Tinkaton, who we just used in the last video, and then they got Amoongus and Titar. I love Titar. Titar is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, but let's see what's happening here. Let's get after it. Uh, I think they're going to probably lead like Roaring Moon and Tinkaton. Tinkaton can fake out. Amoongus isn't a bad lead here either, but I definitely think Tinkaton is coming in here for a lead, so I definitely want to lead a Pokemon like Fluttermane. Fluttermane is just solid all around. So I'm going to lead this Pokemon. I can always Terrasilize it, unless it's Fairy Terra. It is Fairy Terra, but I can always swap it if need be, but I'm definitely going to go into Fluttermane. I think I'm also going to rock into... Do we go into Volcarona? Volcarona is not bad, but we know Amoongus is coming out here. I might want to start off with Gyarados. I mean, nice Intimidate on a few of these Pokemon. They're all pretty much physical attacking. It's going to be solid. So, you know what? I'm going to go Gyarados. I'm going to go Fluttermane. And we're going to get after it that way. I'm with it. I'm with it. I think this thing has Protect too, don't you? You do have Protect. So, I can always double Protect if need be. I like that. We're going to bring Iron Hands in the back end. And then, last but not least, I think King Gambit is just a solid Pokemon all around. So, I'm going to go King Gambit. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Yeah, as of Series 2, I think we have another month. I think it goes all the way through the end of March. And I've actually been having a blast with Series 2. Series 2 has been a lot of fun. It's starting to decline because you're starting to see a lot of the uh, same Pokemon being used. But Series 3 is going to be a lot of fun because I feel like they're going to add like Charizard, Greninja, and everything's just going to be great. And then by the time after that one, we'll probably have our first DLC for this game. So it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. But he ends up leading Corvo. And Corvo doesn't... Did it have Mirror Armor? I think it did have Mirror Armor, but we had... But we had uh, the clear amulet, so that worked out perfectly for us. So we get the attack drop on the T-Tar. We can go into a taunt. We could go into a Moonblast. I'm thinking of just straight up taunting uh, Corviknight right now. Actually, it has mirror armor. Wouldn't that taunt me? I don't like that. I could straight up Moonblast. I could just throw a Shadow Ball, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to throw a Shadow Ball in that slot. And I think I might just Waterfall across in the T-Tar slot. Or I can always Dragon Dance if I want to. I think we're just going to throw a Waterfall here. So yeah. Good call from us. Shadow Ball comes out here. Gonna chip up a little bit of damage on the Corvo. Get special attack drop or special defense drop. We do not. But Waterfall flies over here and picks up some even bigger damage onto the T-Tar. It's good to know that we have uh, 
Wow, that did, well, that's going to kill my Fluttermane. You got to crit on my Fluttermane, of course. I was going to say, it's good to know that we have speed, but obviously they have speed now. But that hurts right there. You got to crit on my Fluttermane. So now my Fluttermane dies due to buffets. That really sucks. And now we're sitting in this position. Okay. The Corbinite got off the Tailwind. Sandstorm is buffeting. Only hit my Gyarados. And this thing has leftovers. Awesome. Just what I want. Just what I wanted to deal with the Corviknight in match number one. This Corviknight's so good. I could go Iron Hands here. Could definitely go Iron Hands. I'm thinking of just straight up Thunder Punching right into the Corvo slot, right? Instead of just faking out. I think that's my play. Maybe just protect Gary. I could protect Gary. I could protect Gary. I could protect Gary. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to protect Gyarados. I'm going to go for the Corbinite KO here. He thought I might even protect here. I just protect my Gyarados straight up. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. So I protect. He ends up going for a Rock Slide. That's totally fine. No flinches. Please, no flinches. That's all I'm asking for. No flinches. No flinches on my Iron Hands. And I feel like we're going to get it, right? going to go for an Iron Defense. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That hurts. That definitely hurts. We don't like that. Now you're going to be able to soak up my, my Thunder Punch, right? Yeah. Give me power at least. Slow this thing down. No powers, yo. RNG, not looking good for us. Not looking good for us. His Iron Defense bulked. He might even protect this turn, but I'm going to throw a Thunder Punch into that. I'm going to throw a Thunder Punch. I'm going to say he misses the Rock Slide. I feel like that's our only option here. Or I could save Gyarados. This might be my play. That's exactly what window. I'm going to Thunder Punch. Save our Gyarados for later. Because we have Intimidate on him. And once uh, Tailwind's gone, we can have a little bit of speed with him. So I'm going to Hard Swap straight into... Uh, What's his name? King Gambit. We can soak up Rock Slides, no problem. And then after that, I can just straight up Sucker Punch and uh, do some damage onto the T-Tar. And maybe even pick up a KO. He might not be able to, considering it's so bulky. And it, it will be uh, not very effective. So we end up going for a swap. Again, easy soaks for us, no problem. Don't roost me. Another crit. Do not roost. Goes for a Body Press. Okay. Body Press comes out here. That's some big time damage. Thunder Punch is flying. Almost picking up the KO. That kind of sucks. And now we'll go from here. Now we shall go from here. Hmm. I still have Terrasalization. I do still have Terra. I do still have Terra. I am going to go for a Dream Punch in that slot. And I'm thinking of just Terra into Dark here. And Sucker Punch in this thing. Just for first time priority and trying to get rid of it. That's my play all day. Let's get rid of this thing. Let's get rid of it. As long as he doesn't get flinches, I can't stand flinches. I feel like flinches, they're, they're coming soon. He hasn't flinched me once yet with the rock slide, so they're coming. They are coming. Let's see, Sucker Punch should come out here first. Beautiful. We should say bye-bye to Corvo here. That's why I terrestrialize. We do. That's a big time KO there. So we take out Corvo Knight. We have King Gambit on the field. We still have Intimidate with our, uh, with our boy later. He's going to go for a rock slide. And King Gambit dodges that. You soak pretty easily. You're going to Drain Punch here. No flinches. Thank you. You're going to Drain Punch here. You're going to KO. And now what I'm thinking here is swapping my Iron Hands into Gyarados for two reasons. One, I can intimidate any Pokemon on the field, which are probably physical attackers. And two, it resets my Fake Out with my Iron Hands so I can bring him out later and pop another Fake Out. I like it. I like it. And I think Tailwind's gone, right? Correct? Makes the most sense. Tailwind's probably gone. Yeah, Tailwind's gone. I think he does have Garchomp, which is kind of scary. Kind of sucks. And I think he might want to try to pop EQs with that. Let me Tinkaton toast. Tinkaton's ready for the fake out. And Garchomp. Or Moon. So the Moon Ski comes out here. Moon Ski comes out here. Okay. He's gonna boost his attack. That thing's still terrifying. He's gonna fake me out. I'm gonna save my. I'm just gonna go here, intimidate, and I'm just gonna protect you. Easy little protect. Easy little protect. Easy little protect. I am scared of the Tinkaton. I think it's just a problem. It is just a problem. We're going to get the Intimidate off on two physical attackers. I kind of like this, but we're still sitting in a tough spot. We're, we're working little by little here trying to win this battle. So now I pull back at the Gyarados. We get off the lovely little Intimidate. I dig it. And now are you Terrasalized? I feel like Terra has to come out here. Share protect. Fine. Go into my, uh, go into my gamut slot here. Please go into my gamut slot. Go into my gamut slot. Do you do go for that play rough. That is, that is big time. So he goes for the play rough there. I have to double down and Tinkaton here. 
What do I swap Gyarados? I'll try to double down and take a ton here. I think he just straight up KOs me, which is a problem. We gotta double down to Tinkaton though. We have to double down into Tinkaton. So we'll see. Roar Moon might even Terrasilize here. Because they still have it, don't they? But yeah, they let Titar and... What was the other Pokemon that was doing work on me? And Corbinate, and none of them Terrasilize. So they still have Terrasilize on the field. I maybe should have swapped my Gyarados here. But he just goes for straight Stopping Tantrum. You can eat that. That's an easy eat for you. Player up comes through here. And you eat that as well. Let's go. Big time eats for us. Big time eats. Waterfall is coming in hot here. Chipping up some lovely damage. Iron Head should be able to clean this one up. And now we're sitting in a top tier spot right now. A top tier spot, yo. What a comeback so far. We're playing really good. So this thing's sitting here with no first time priority moves. Um, I think like this is a free Dragon Dance, right? Let me just start Iron Heading into this thing. I'm just gonna kill, I'm gonna go for the, the Dragon Dance. He goes for Throw Chop. That's fine. You KO me. So I was gonna say, it's either you take out my Gyarados or let it set up Dragon Dance. And that's fine. Iron Head comes out here. We're chipping up damage. Oh, that's some big time damage. And now I get out my boy right here. Iron Hands. And it's pretty much locked down, right? Are we locked down with this match? I don't I wouldn't say we're locked down, but this is a free fake out here. And then another Iron Head. Probably protects here. Yep, there's a the straight up protect. And I'm hoping this thing doesn't have a double hitting. I'm surprised he hasn't Terrasilize. I wonder what his Terror type is, though. It's got to be flying, right? It's got to be flying. For the most part. Because I just think he hasn't popped it because he, he would rather have this uh, double typing. But from here, I am going to go for the Drain Punch. And I am going to go for the Iron Hand. Or do I go for the Thunder Punch just in case he wants to Terrasilize in the flying? I feel like that's a smarter play. No, you know, we're, just, we're, gonna, we're, we're not going to overthink this. We're not going to overthink this. We're just going to go into an Iron Head and a Drain Punch. And he is going to Terrasilize. Wow, it's going to be flying. I should have just should just went straight into it. I should have went into that Thunder Punch. Okay, it's Poison. It's Poison. That's that's fine. I can deal with Poison. <laughs> so that's Poison right there. I guess I understand why he didn't want to Terrasilize, but it's all good. Terra Blast can come out here. And who are you taking out is a real question. Who are you going after? You're going to go after him. Can you eat this? Maybe soak this? Probably not, right? You do soak it. Wow, yo. King Gambit coming in high here, but Drain Punch is flying. Soaking up some HP. Wow. If King Gambit didn't soak there, we had a shot at winning this match. We had a shot or a shot at uh, losing this match. But Iron Head comes out here. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. GG. Match number one. Phenomenal on our end. We went down a little bit early, but we made that comeback and grabbed ourselves that victory. For a second there in match number one, I really did think we were going to lose it, but we made a great swap with Gyarados, forcing them out so we get Intimidate in there and then resetting our fake out, getting back into that battle and ended up ultimately winning that match. Awesome stuff from us. Hopefully we can go back to back here and win our second match, but we're going up against a little bit of a tougher team here. Iron Hands, Fluttermane, Skelly Dirge, love that Pokemon, absolutely love that Pokemon, and then King Gambit, Grimmsnarl, one of my favorite support Pokemon, and then Amoongus. I do not like Amoongus. I like Amoongus as a Pokemon, not going up against it incompetitively. Hate it. Hate it so much, but I feel like Fake Out might have to be a lead for us. Could definitely be really solid, so I'm going to go Iron Hands right off the rip. I definitely want Gyarados in here, because Gyarados seems solid with the Terror type ground and having water on top of that, so I'm going to bring Gyarados, but I don't think I'm going to lead it. I mean, I could lead it. Intimidate could be good. Actually, we're not going to lead it because he probably has King Gambit with Defiant. And that could be a problem. That could be a problem. So I'm going to go Iron Hands here. I definitely want to bring Fluttermane and Gyarados. But I'm deciding if I want to bring King Gambit or Volcarona here. Because Volcarona, I can maybe get up a setup with a Quiver Dance. Kind of just roll from there, which I really, really like. And I'm thinking I want to do that. Do I want to do that? Or do I want Gambit? Gambit's look good. Super effective onto a few. But I'm going to say screw it. I'm going to go Volcarona. Because I feel like I had... Oh, wait. I didn't pick out my other Pokemon. Because <laughs> I feel like I used Volcarona, I think, in the last video. And I did not get to use it in a battle. So I, want, I definitely want to get it out. Volcarona is really cool. Definitely a solid Pokemon. But it's crazy that there's three forms of Volcarona in the game right now. You got Slitherwing. You got Iron Moth. And then you got regular Volcarona. Which all of them are phenomenal in rankable battles. They can all have their usage. They definitely all have the losers. But Grimstraw and King Gambit come out here. That's exactly why I did not lead the Gyarados. And this actually works really well. So we're sitting here with you. Um, I doubt he really stays in there. I might just fake out the Grimstraw and try to set up a Quiver Dance here, right? 
you are going to Thrasilize or Protect or Swap the Gambit, right? There's no way he just stays in here. Yeah, there's Swap. So this is a free setup turn from us. Perfectly for us. I'm loving it. So he ends up going in Scully Dirge. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So I get the fake out onto the Grimmsnarl, and I get a free Quiver Dance setup, which boosts my special defense, special attack, and speed. Amazing. Amazing start from us. That's hot. That's hot stuff right there. Let's get it. Let's go. Beautiful turn from us. So that was just an easy read right there. I just knew that he wasn't staying in there. He was just chilling. And from here, I feel like I just throw a Heavy Slam. And I could Heat Wave. I think I just had the Heat Wave again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say screw it, and I'm going to... Go into a thunder punch into the skelly deer slot chip up some damage that way and just have my uh have my volcarona do most of the heavy lifting onto the grim snarl so there's a light stream gonna help him out tremendously and we still have our what's called which should do a nice chunk of damage get some burns any burns oh there's a burn <laughs> there's a burn <laughs> he's gonna burn my iron hands i was hoping to get a burn on my heat wave not skelly deer rocking will lewis that's definitely going to neglect a lot of the uh, Thunder Punch damage. Yeah, can we get a para? Give me some RNG? No. Okay, so this thing is pretty bulky right now. This thing is pretty bulky, and... I feel like we just constantly Thunder Punch into the uh, Skeletor slot. Or I can take out the Grimmsnarl, which I think I'm going to do. Can I take out Grimmsnarl, allow Skeletor to chill? No, because I don't want Skeletor to constantly pop uh, Torch Songs. That'd be a problem. That would be a problem. So I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. And seeing what he wants to do. He just wants to paralyze my Pokemon here. But he's using Grimstar to his advantage here. Slowing us down. And the Heatwave's still gonna fly here, which is huge. So we deal some damage on the Grimstar. Poor Tom's can come in here, and this is what I'm afraid of. This thing just setting up here and constantly doing damage and getting the special uh special attack boost. The Thunder Punch gonna fly. Can we get a para? Can we get the para? There's the para. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for a little bit of RNG on my side. There we go. Get a big time para there. We have leftovers. They have leftovers. I think we can survive another Torch Song, but I know we outspeed that Skelly Dirge, which is big. Which is big. So we get the para on that. Um, I could Giga Drain, which I'm thinking of doing. Nah, I'd rather chip up a little bit more damage onto the uh, Skelly Dirge. I'd rather, I'd rather chip up a little bit more damage on the Skelly. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Thunder Punch into him again. Heat Wave should kill the Grim Snarl, and we should go from there. Now Thunder Punch is going to KO. I thought Thunder Punch might have a shot at KO'ing, but Heat Wave's missing somebody. Who are you missing? Skelly Dirge. Okay, I'd rather hit the Grim Snarl than the Skelly Dirge. I'll take that. I'll take that. So we get rid of the Grim Snarl finally. He has screen set up. Grim Snarl really got a lot of value out of there. So we're sitting in a weird position here. Wow, we're doing no damage. Oh, no. We're <laughs> doing... Ah, uh, nah, dude. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, so what's my plan to get rid of this thing? I have Gyarados. I have Gyarados, but this thing definitely has Terra Grass. So I kind of just want to waste this thing's, uh... Waste this team's Terra. So he can't Terrasize and beat my Gyarados one-on-one. -on -one. This is a tough position. I still have Fluttermane, too. I mean, Fluttermane can get some work done here as well. King Gambit's gonna fly here. King Gambit is 100% Terrasize here. So... I think I'm just gonna Drain Punch. Because I think he would Terrasize in straight dark. I throw a heat wave anyway. I throw a heat wave. Maybe try to get a burn. I'd say screw it, but he's definitely terrasalizing, or maybe even protecting. I'd rather him terrasalize here. He protects. Hurts soul. Hurts soul, but this skelly dirge right here is—it's terrifying. This skelly dirge is terrifying. It really is. I do not really know what I'm gonna do up against it. Gonna be paralyzed this turn. Maybe help me out. Maybe help me out a little bit? Hmm. Nope, it's not. Chipping up. Probably not KO in here. But bringing me low, yeah. Poor song out and about. So he can... He can sucker punch me here. I could quiver dance if I want to. He's gonna go for the sucker punch, right? This sucks, man. It sucks. This honest, honestly stinks. I have to go into the drain punch in that slot. So I'm gonna drain punch it. Um... Sucker punch, right? I'm just gonna protect you. I think he goes for a sucker punch in Volcarona. I know I'm burned. Dude, Skelly Dirge right now is MVP. This one does not look good for us. Even though we have a one Pokemon lead, Skelly Dirge looks like it's setting up. It's plus two. 
has reflection screens. I'm trying to waste them out as well. We're trying to do that. So he ends up with strong King Gambit. We're train punching in that slot. So let's see who he throws out here. He throwing out here. Iron hands of his own. We know the rest of his Pokemon, and the rest of his Pokemon are really strong. Quick drive here, attack is heightened. And we're just gonna protect him. So we, we throw up a little protect. I do think Skelly Dirge is probably going after Volcarona yet again. Because he knows that uh I can't really do any damage. But I'm trying to just like think, no way, you do that? Wow, that's a smart play. Makes a hard read, and this thing's plus three. Absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying here. Absolutely terrifying. Now we're sitting here, dude. He is just boosted. He's gonna fake out my Volcarona here. And I don't really know what I do. I really don't know what I do because I'm not swapping. I'd rather just Pokemon die out and we just go from there. Because again, I'm wasting out the turns of, of, of the Reflex and Light Screens. And we gotta see how many is left. Two and three. It's way too long. Way too long. <laughs> Drain Punch could come out here. We're gonna try to get back a little bit of HP. And I guess I'll go for Giga Drain. If I can get off a of Giga Drain, that'd be nice. Fake out comes out here and KOs me. But we get Flame Body. I'll take that. I will take that. I will take that. That's actually helps us out tremendously. So we get a burn onto you. He's going to take out. Well, actually, I get off a little bit of damage, but he's going to take out me unless he's paralyzed. And watch, he's going to be paralyzed, but I want Iron Hands to die here. I need Iron Hands to die here. It's not going to die Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So Iron Hand sides out. That's kind of what we want to hear. And now I can bring out Gyarados with Intimidate. And that can work out well. But he still has Terrasilize. And he's going to send the Grass Terror here. So I can make a read on that thing. Terrasilize in the Grass. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's got to be the play. That's got to be the play. Skelly Dirt has got the Terrasilize. And I think we just doubled down into that Pokemon. I think we just doubled down. He has got to go. He has got to go. Skelly Dirt has got to go. It has got to go. It has to go. It has to go. It's an absolute must. So from here, I could Shadow Ball. But again, he's definitely Terrasilize. It's 100% Terrasilize, right? I mean, if he doesn't, then, then we get off a free Waterfall into that slot. He's got Terrasilize. He's got to. He's got a Terrasilize. He has got to. So now comes out the Terrasilize. Well, that's my Terrasilization. But again, if he does not Terrasilize, we have a Waterfall going into that slot. So I'll, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. So we got our Fairy Terra. It's a great match. We're having some good matches today. And he ends up not Terrasilize. What is going on here? What's going on here? We could just pop that thing with a Shadow Ball. We get off some nice damage. Do we get a Special Defense Drop or a Special Attack Drop? We do. And can Waterfall KO? I don't know if you can. You cannot. Shot. We're going to say bye-bye to Fluttermane, right? Are you doubling down on Fluttermane? What are you doing here? Are you doubling down on Fluttermane? Oh my god. The Para comes back. Love you. Love you, Paralyze. I love you, Paralyze. Love you. I love you. Now Terrasilization could come out here. But I want to throw Moon Blast into that slot. I'm gonna moon blast here, and you know what? I'm just gonna do I protect you? Or do I terror blast? Hmm. Terror blast will actually have no effect on this thing. I say it's not very effective. I'll go for a waterfall in this slot. Is he gonna trasalize? Like, dude, it's throwing me off. It's throwing me off. Here comes trasalization. It's crazy. Who is he too? It's two iron hands, which is wild. Electric? Air! Air, that is wild. So we get rid of Skelly, there's no problem. That's a smart turn. I think he's gonna get rid of Butterman. Terrifying. Wow, well, Moonblast probably could have KO'd here. And it almost does again. It almost does. Waterfall coming out here. We get rid of you. This is such a good battle. They do still have screens. Screens helping them out tremendously. Wild Charge coming out. You're taking out my Gyarados? You do take out my Gyarados. And I don't think there's a chance here. I do not think there's a chance here with, uh, with you know who coming out onto the field. Oh, Burn's gonna KO. It's a 1v1. It's a 1v1. It's a 1v1. But one Iron Head will KO us. I have to go for a Shadow Ball here. 
Iron Head's looking scary. <laughs> it's looking real scary. Ledge Green's gone. That helps us out. That helps us out a little bit. King Gambit finally comes out onto the field. Full HP ready to go. And this was a great play by our opponent. Really waste out those turns. Both my moves are very are not effective. Actually, Moonblast is fine. That actually works better for us. I don't know. I don't think we can pick up the KO. I don't think we can. I mean, it's Stab. It's Terra. It's neutral. Yeah, no shot. This is, unless he misses. Nope, there's the Iron Head. Comes out there. What a second match. We've been playing so good. Our opponent played really good in that match. One on one for today's video. Let's hop to a third. Look for a winning record. Final match coming at you guys. And we're going up against Rain Team. And I don't know how to feel about it. Rain teams are scaring me, especially considering we have no way of controlling weather. They have two Pokemon with Swift Swim with Quillfish and Floatzel. And then they got Pelipper to set the rain. They got Kilowattro who thrives in the rain. And then they got Talonflame and Annihilate. So very strong team. We had two great battles so far. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here, but I'm trying to think of ways we should lead this one and get after it. I think Gyarados isn't going to be too bad. I think Iron Hands can also do work, so I like Iron Hands as a definite lead. Um, hmm. Gyarados could come in here as the lead. Intimidate can do work on a few of these Pokemon, considering a lot of them are physical attacking. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Definitely want Iron Hands. Definitely want Gyarados. Definitely want Fluttermane. And then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards Amoongus. Do I lead Amoongus? What can you do here, kind sir? I mean, you can put Pokemon to sleep, which I like. You have Pile Puff, you get the Clear Smog. I do like it, but the Air Pokemon are going to be a problem. The Air Pokemon are definitely going to be a problem. I'm going to do that. I am going to end up leading Gary to Gyarados. Or I can lead King Gambit. Hmm. I'm going to end up leading Gyarados. I like Gyarados here. I'm going to bring King Gambit, and I'm going to bring Fluttermane. I think, I think we have to here. Actually, I think he goes into... I'm going to lead King, King Gambit instead of Gyarados. Because I think he might lead Annihilate. This seems like a team that could uh, thrive off a of Choice Scarf Annihilate. Just final gambiting. So if he ends up leading that, getting the, the Defiant boost, that could be scary. That could definitely be scary. But yeah, look at a trainer guard. Just a bunch of Floatzels hanging out. <laughs> Love me some Floatzel. Love me some Floatzel. But let's see who they end up leading. Just straight up Rain Squad. So Intimidate would have been really, really well for us. So I think he does protect the Floatzel. I really do. And I think from here we can just fake out you. And drop like a Kowtow Cleave right into that slot. I think it's a simple play. I'm just going to make the read that he protects Floatzel here. Protecting the Floatzel. It's got to be, right? Unless he's like, I'm not worried about fake out. Which is a smart thing to do. Like sometimes when, like if you just play like you're not worried about fake out, it works well. But we make an easy read there. He ends up swapping Floatzel. No problem. It's no problem. He's going to swap into here. Let's hop into Kilowattle. And now we get off these free shots here. These free shots. So easy reads from us. Easy reads. Light work. So I guess we want to set up a Tailwind. I mean, that's fine from us. We're going to be able to count out Cleave here. And... Do I Terrasilize it? Probably not, right? Hmm. There's no way. We think that thing's Volt Absorb? Do we think this Kilowattle or Volt Absorb? It could be. I don't know if I want to run the risk here of that thing being both absorbed. I'm just going to Thunder Punch that slot and I could Terra, but I'm just straight up Kowtow Cleave this thing down. He's going to set up a Tailwind. He's going to Volt Switch out. That's fine. So he chips up a little bit of damage. He's going to go into it from here. Back to Floatzel? That'd be a dumb play. That would be a dumb play because then we get off some free damage. I can Sucker Punch the next turn. But we know Tailwind's probably coming out and about, right? The Talonflame. Okay, I can deal with Talonflame. Never mind, he's ripping me, me with Hydro Pump, which I soak. So get on out of my face. We're not dealing with you. And on top of that, we get rid of Gale Wings, which is good. But then he's still out of speed, so it's just a problem. But we can waste a turn here for him to set up Talon. So, Kowtow. Oh my. Gamby! Gambo! My dog! <laughs> ripping in the Talon Flame. <laughs> ripping in the Talon Flame. My man! We're sitting so good now. But still so tough because Kilowattle is an absolute unit going to pop Hurricanes. Floats is going to be able to rip. I feel like we have to pop Sucker Punch here. Chip up a little bit of damage. And I might double down into Floatsy over here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get rid of Floatsy. I'm going to try to get rid of Floatsy. Floatsy might be sashed. It could be orbed. I feel like those are the only two items that it should be rocking. And then in the back end, since they do not have Tailwind set up, my Fluttermane will be fastest on the field. The Thrasilize is going to come out here. Probably in the float, so straight water. Straight water floatsy. Yep, straight water floatsy. 
And he might even aqua shed into me. But I think we're fine there. I think we're fine here. Sucker punch coming in hot. Built. Gambo. Gambo's gotta chill. Gambo's gotta chill. Wave crash coming in hot here. And oh, you got. Wow. A physical attacker taking out. And it wasn't even a super effective move. Taking out Iron Hands in one shot? That's fine. We'll take that sacrifice considering Fossil dies here. We got this match on lockdown. On lockdown. On lockdown. You probably pick up the KO here with Thunder. Yep. Thunder 100% accuracy. And now I get to bring out Gary to Gyarados alongside with Water Meme. So from here, I still have Terra. I feel like safe bet would be just terrestrializing Gyarados into the ground, giving him a little bit of extra value. And then I could just straight up Waterfall. And then on top of that, just throw Moon Blast and Shadow Balls from Fluttermane. But yeah, this match is an absolute wrap. Absolute lock it in. Winning record for your boy. Loving it. Is this incompetitive? It's not. Awesome. Dope. So here comes our Terra. Here comes our Waterfall. And then we just Moon Blast. Light work. Light work. He's probably going to be upset at seeing this. Probably like, oh, I have Gyarados on lock. No problem. The thing's dead. The only Gyarados to have Terrastalization ground. We love it. <laughs> we love it. We tear our Gyarados to ground. And he's definitely dropping the thunder into that. Moonblast out speeds. Bilp. And that's just handling a lot of the problems. And you actually thunder into Fluttermane. And yo, that's some big time damage. Probably gets a power too. Nope, no power. Waterfall flies. GG's. 2 1 for today's video. We grab ourselves another winning record for the channel. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 1 for today's video. Got Gyarados out there in most of the battles and rocked out with him. Definitely a very strong Pokemon for the competitive scene in Scarlet and Violet. Still top tier. Really can't go wrong with Gyarados. King Gambit, Fluttermane, Iron Hands, Full Corona, and Amoongus all did their parts in today's video. Grab yourselves the wins and help us grab ourselves that winning record. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.